What's up, YouTube? What's up, Raider Nation? I'm Bubba the Raider. Uh, back out with you guys here uh, today before the Patriots game here in a couple hours. Uh, I know I've been gone again. Uh, for those of you who are new or didn't know, I got a teaching job this year. It's my first year as a full-time teacher, and it has taken everything I've got. So I apologize. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I get more used to um, teaching and get more used to making videos uh, I will provide you with better content and more content uh, and there won't be so many lapses in between um, this is my favorite pastime I do is making these videos and talking about my favorite team the Oakland Raiders um, so uh, it's been crazy I think the last video I made was about the Redskins game uh, and I didn't even say anything if you could even call it a Redskins game um, it was pretty pretty rough. Um, the season has been fairly rough um, from that point on with a few exceptions here and there. Um, rocking my new Color Rush Derek Carr. My wife got me for my birthday. I love it. Um, okay, a few things that I've noticed going on that I want to address. Let me grab some coffee here. <clears throat> Number one. We need to chill. Um, I'm reading a lot of stuff about people calling Conley a bust. <clears throat> and I'm not saying he isn't, but he definitely isn't yet. Like, he's been hurt. And I get that, like, we want to sit there and say, oh, it's a shin injury, it's shin splints, like, man up. But we don't really know that it's shin splints. There's there's some discrepancy there. There's uh, what we've heard and what was what he says is the truth are two different things. And I'm imagining uh, that if it's just shin splints, he wouldn't have missed. He he tried. He went out there and tried, and he actually looked really good uh, in the uh, was it the Washington game. Um, or no, it was the Jets game. I don't know. Either way, he went out there for two games and looked really good, but we had to shut him down for the year, and I'm assuming that it's not just a he-doesn't-want-to-play sort of a thing. So let's let's hold off on the bus talk uh, until... I mean, if you look, look at what everyone said about Jared Goff last year. A guy played for like six games, and, oh, he's a bust. The Rams need to move on. They need to move on. He sucks. And all of a sudden, he's... Uh, now being talked about as like an MVP caliber player. So we need to chill with this bus talk. Um, we need to chill on Derek Carr. Uh, I know I'm biased. He's like my favorite or second. Hold on. I don't know. That's better. Second or uh, favorite or second favorite player in the NFL. I love everything about Derek Carr. We need to chill on blaming him. And I get that he's made some questionable decisions, and I get that there's been some questionable coaching decisions. Just have faith before you start jumping all over him. He's been nothing short of amazing for us, and it, we need to just trust. Uh, Jack Del Rio, same kind of a thing. I'm not ready to sit there and say fire Jack yet, not even close. Um, you know... Before he came, how how much of a a breath of fresh air? And I know that this isn't something to compare it to, but how much of a breath of fresh air would it have been if eleven weeks into the season, um, Dennis Allen would have had four or five wins? You know what I mean. And so, like, I get that Jack Del Rio has, for the most part, like his first season was rough, but look what he was working with. Last year was incredible and this year we have not lived up to last year and I get that but we'll get there we need to uh, the 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 culture of cutting coaches the minute things turn south is a huge issue for not only us but for teams in general look at the patriots i hate them i hate them more than anything look at the patriots Look at the Steelers. The Steelers, since like the 60s, have had three different head coaches, and they have the most Super Bowl rings of anybody. Like, I'm not saying we need to hold on to something when it's broken, but it needs to give us a chance to show us that it's broken. And I haven't seen that it's broken. I've seen that we have stuff we need to fix. 
Reggie has stuff he needs to fix, and it's the same kind of a thing with Reggie. Everybody was talking about fire and Reggie, fire and Reggie, fire and Reggie, and then he's had a good draft, and everyone's like, oh, and he's continued to put together some decent drafts, and people don't want to think that, but it's true. He's finding players late. He's he's finding undrafted free agents, and you know what? I do have a major issue with the fact that our defensive coordinator was an all-pro linebacker, and our head coach was an all-pro linebacker, and our... our uh, GM was an all-pro linebacker, yet we can't seem to find a linebacker. However, we'll figure it out like we have to. So just have faith. Um, Downing, first-year OC, man. Like, we don't know what is being called and what is what car is changing and what, what the circumstances are. So just give him a shot. And then, you know, Ken Norton. I think Ken Norton is on the hottest seat of all. But... Again, like, change is not always good. Sometimes people just need a chance to learn. And Norton's had the longest, besides Jack, of all of those coaches to figure it out. And that's why I think his seat is the hottest is because the defense has been, every year, the worst part of this team. And so he needs he needs to figure it out in these last seven weeks. He needs to figure it out today. Um so his seat is the hottest of all, but no one's getting fired right now. Like, that, that shouldn't happen. Uh, okay, so that's where I stand on the rumors I've been hearing. I just We just need to chill. We need to have faith. Um, and we can get it done. Um, so today we have the biggest game of the year uh, in Mexico City against the Patriots. A home game. It's dumb. Uh, things that I'm going to be looking for today, number one is uh, Obi Melifonwu and how he's going to stack up against Gronkowski and try and make Gronkowski uh, a non-factor or as minimal a factor as possible. We got he's, got he's got a lot on his plate today because even if he makes Gronkowski very limited, they've still got Martellus Bennett now. They've got Dwayne Allen, and then they've got Jacob Hollister, who uh, probably won't see the field, but... Um, I grew up with Jacob Hollister, and the kid is good. And uh, I went to school with him, and I've known him since he was in kindergarten. And he's a he's a really good dude, and he's a really good football player. Uh, he's a rookie, tight end, undrafted out of Wyoming. And uh, to put it into perspective, uh, he's a special teams player. He recovered a fumble last week for the Patriots. I was watching that game um, on the on the muffed punt, but. To put it into perspective, the Patriots, before the draft, they traded for a Chiefs tight end, um, and then undrafted Jacob Hollister came in and won the roster spot, and they cut the guy that they gave a, a pick for. So he's he's pretty good. Um, so the tight ends are going to be an issue. We need to. It's, it can't just be on Ovi, but Ovi needs to take Gronk out of this game, and we need to find ways to make the other guys very limited. Um and if that wasn't enough, uh, we need to stop Brandon Cooks. And we all saw what happened last year against Brandon Cooks. We need to stop Philip Dorsett, who which is kind of an oxymoron because he hasn't done anything this his career, really. But he's just like Brandon Cooks. Like, he's super fast, um, small kind of a guy. And then we need to find a way to stop. One guy I'm really nervous about is Rex Burkhead. Um, I liked him a lot when the Bengals drafted him. I was looking at the Raiders drafted him, wanted him to. He went to like Cincinnati, uh, University of Cincinnati or something like that. Like, um, I could be wrong about that. That was like five years ago. But he's he's kind of a a jack of all trades guy. So we need to find a way. He plays running back, but he's catching balls, and he's we need to find a way to stop him. Um, and a big big factor. And doing all of those things is going to be Khalil Mack. And it can't just be Khalil Mack. Um, Khalil's going to have an easier time today. I think that three of the Patriots starting offensive linemen are hurt. But it really is going to fall on to Eddie Vanderdose. Um, Bruce Irvin, who's been the one guy that's been irritating me the most this year. Because like, he's supposed to be elite or super, super good. And he's got one sack. We need We need him to... To continue to, to to do something, Mario Edwards Jr., who's turned it on a little bit this year, they all need to come out. Darius Latham, 
uh, Jihad Ward if he plays. Like they all need to come out and pressure Brady, pressure Brady, pressure Brady. It can't just come from Khalil. And the more and more that we do that, the more and more it's going to free up Khalil. Um, but as of right now, because no one is wanting to or is able to get that pressure, then they're stopping Khalil because he's the only one they have to worry about. Um, Derek is going to need to take over today. The, the beauty is that the Patriots' defense is pretty suspect, knock on wood, um, or they have been. You know, they've lost a lot of players. Um, Derek is going to need to take kind of take over today, um, which is going to, another big thing to watch for. And I know I'm really blanketing this. I mean, we really need to play well all across the field. And all of this is very – you guys know what I'm saying. Like, you, you, I don't need to say it, but I'm just putting it out there. Last year, we were doing amazing in this category until Mexico City, and that category was drops. And then Mexico City happened, and Michael Crabtree started dropping the ball, and Amari Cooper started dropping the ball, and Seth Roberts started dropping the ball. And it's kind of continued all the way until today. So we need to catch the ball today. Have to catch the ball today. No drops. Like, it can't happen. So I'm not sure if there's something in the altitude. I don't remember or, or what it, what the deal was. But last year, I felt like um, like Crabtree had the strongest hands in the league, and everyone was talking about that. And then all of a sudden, he drops like five passes in that game or something. I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but that that's kind of where when I when I look back at our drop issue, that's kind of where it started, in my opinion. We need to control the clock. Uh, again. A big part of that is going to be smart decisions by Carr, um, high completions, and using our running backs properly, uh, all of our running backs. And then if if we can make this game where we don't see Marquette King, that would be wonderful. I love Marquette King. I know a lot of people are kind of irritated with his antics. I love him. The less he's on the field, the better. We need to end with points on every drive. <clears throat> so, real blanket. I mean, usually games you might have one or two spots where you're like, we need to do this, we need to do this. This is a game where we need everything to work, and we need to execute on all aspects of the field, special teams, offense, defense. We need to execute. Um, it'd be really cool if Khalil comes off the edge, first play on defense, and just completely ends Brady's career. I'd like that. Um moving forward after this game where we stand um you know that every game is a must win game this is a must win game however our season is not over if we don't win this game um we control our destiny we are as of right now we are two games behind the chiefs but we are right in the thick of everything everyone else is sitting around right where we are um, and the Chiefs have been losing. So, um, like, we control our destiny. And the way I'm looking at it, and the way I have to look at it, because it's frustrating, I get it, but <clears throat> a few weeks back, we're playing Thursday night football against the Kansas City Chiefs. And for those who don't know, I grew up in a diehard Chiefs house with my stepdad, my dad, but he's my stepdad, but he's my dad. Uh, he raised me, love him. Uh, he is a diehard Chiefs fan, and my sister is a diehard Chiefs fan. She's got the uh, the logo tattooed on the back of her neck. And we have a bet every year whenever we, when we play each other that the loser has to change their Facebook profile picture to the other team's logo for a week. And we're sitting there, and it's not looking good before that final drive, and it goes to commercial break. And I'm sitting there, and they're all hooping and hollering because they just scored and I just start smiling. And I'm sitting there thinking, and I'm smiling and smiling. And they're like, what are you smiling about? Oh, I just remembered who my quarterback is. That's what, that's the attitude we have to take. We have to remember who our quarterback is. Fourth quarter comeback, Derek Carr, when the pressure is on, he tends to perform. And when he performs, other people tend to perform well this season the pressure is on so smile and have faith in who your quarterback is because he's the real deal and 
uh, I trust him. And whether we go to the Super Bowl, whether we make the playoffs, whatever, he's our guy. And I trust him. So have faith. Smile in Derek because he's going to get it done. Um, yeah. AFC keeps losing. There's hope. You know what I mean? Like the teams who are in front of us right now, you look at like the Bills, right? But the Bills all of a sudden are switching quarterbacks. You know, the Ravens aren't looking great. You know, those are two teams that have tiebreakers over us. It's, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it's something that, like, if we lose today, it's not unheard of. You know, the, the Chiefs have been losing. They're not going to, I mean, let's hope that they do, but they're playing the Giants today. The Broncos can't figure it out. They look awful. I think some of these teams are going to start throwing in the, the towel and start tanking for a better draft pick because they just, you know, they know. So uh, have faith, and you know, we're going we're gonna to take care of some business. Um, so let's do that. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and like it. If you didn't, go ahead and do your thing. Dislike it. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, tell me what you think. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys think. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and hopefully I'll be uh, I'll be able to make some more content I definitely I'm on Thanksgiving break so I'll be able to hopefully pump out a few videos on this break and and figure stuff out so anyway uh, just win baby <laughs>